Okay, we're going to try something a little bit different now. We're going to try using nothing but a screenshot and ChatGPT's desktop app on the Mac to create a fully functional game of Pong. And we're going to try and do it in under two minutes. So first things first, we need the option and space to open the mini launcher. We're going to upload a photo that I've saved earlier. Basically, as you can see, it's Pong. And we're going to give it a prompt. So using this screenshot as inspiration, create a fully functional game using Python and provide all the information I need to make it work. This includes ensuring it handles scoring and one side played by the computer. Let's see what it comes up with. We should get is some code. And once we've got the code, you can see it's telling me to install Pygame. It does assume you've got Python already in place, but you can always send it a message and say uh, Pygame wouldn't install and give it explainers and reasons why, and it'll give you all the details. It's given me the white and the black for the paddles and the balls, given me screen heights, ball shape, and all the necessary code to make it work. There we go, we have it. It's also got the explainer that I asked for, talking me through why and how it works. We don't care about that. All we care about is getting it done. So let's click copy and let's open a new file. We'll save it as Pong. I'm not sure why it's saved as Pong.rb. Let's uh, rename that .py because otherwise it's not going to work. And we now have that. So let's go and see if it's worked. There we go. Look. Look at that. And I'm controlling it with the W and S keys. It hasn't created the line in the middle, but let's actually, do you know what? We've got the game. It did it in under two minutes. Let's see what we can do to make it better. So let's pull up ChatGPT again and tell it it forgot the line. You forgot the net. Hopefully what it'll do is give me more code and it'll redo all of the code. So all I've got to do, because I've made it clear that I am a novice and don't know what I'm doing, and it'll give me all the code. So all I've got to do is copy and paste it over the code I've already got. You can, if you don't want to wait and you know how the code works, ask it just to give you the specific bit and tell you where to paste it. That way you haven't got to waste as many messages or replies using GPT-40. It's given the explainer again. Let's copy, let's delete all that and start again. Save and play. Hopefully now, there we go, we have the net. We could ask it for other features. We could ask it to implement lives and even some functionality not necessarily part of the standard Pong, such as random balls. But the goal was a basic Pong game and that is exactly what we've achieved.